Hey, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna show you how to quickly create, 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 create a slideshow in Lightroom. i have to say that again. You can use this on your website, your blog, you can use it on Facebook, and I'm gonna do this actually while we're on the road because, well, gotta do some family adventuring, so. Daniel, are you ready to go? Ready. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. After you've selected those images, just go over to Slideshow, and this is Lightroom's template for you. Let me just show you how you can make a few customizations. The first option is to zoom to fill frame. And just remember, this is not going to render properly, so it'll show up a lot better whenever you hit play. But this isn't how I want it to look. Uncheck zoom to fill frame because I just want them to show up as vertical images. A white border, I think that looks really crisp and clean. If you have a darker website, you know, putting a black background here with a black border, that would look really nice. I love the drop shadow here. I'm gonna click show guides just so I can see what's going on around the image. And then down here, you can change your background color. They kind of do this in a backwards order in my opinion, but you can find it down here under backdrop. So I'm gonna scroll back up and select identity plate. And if you click this downward arrow right here, you can click edit and upload your own file. And then you can see it replaced it up here in the section. So let's just bring the scale up just a smidge. I don't want it to take over the slideshow. And I can actually drag this down below the image. This is a PNG file, so that means it doesn't have a background. So I saved it with just the text. That way it fits nicely on the slideshow. Uncheck rating and stars. I'm going to turn off text overlays. And then if you want, you can turn off the color wash. Or I think what I will do is just soften it up a little bit. Bring this down into just the light gray area and then if you wanted to add an intro screen you could do the same thing you could just edit it go to use a graphical identity plate and locate your file since my background is white I would change that to be a white intro and ending screen and you could add an identity plate here again personally I don't prefer the intro and ending screens but I'm gonna leave them on just so you can see how that would loop and play on your blog or Instagram or wherever you want to put this and then just turn on the music. So to make sure you don't get in trouble with copyright laws, it's important to license music. You can find that on something like Song Freedom or you can sign up with Epidemic Sound. So the way Epidemic Sound works, you just pay a subscription and then you can use any of this music anywhere you want. So you can use it on YouTube, you can use it on Facebook, Instagram, your blog, you can use it to promote your work. Here inside under browse and I'm just gonna click small emotions. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to hit download, download the full mix. Once that finishes downloading, make sure your music is turned on and then click this little plus sign. Locate wherever you downloaded that file. Mine is in my downloads folder. Select that song and click choose. So down here, you can sync the slides to music. So sometimes this works really well. Sometimes it feels a little bit more choppy, but because we have a slower song, I think this will actually work really well. But if you wanted to leave it unchecked, a good slide length, it kind of depends on what you're using it for. If it's on a blog or anywhere online, something that's a bit faster, like two seconds works a lot better. And then you could do 0.5 for the crossfade. If you're doing something like a slideshow for a party or something like that, I would actually go with four or five and then leave the crossfade at one. So I'm gonna go ahead and sync slides to music just so you can see what that looks like. And then you can choose if you want to do a random order, if you want to repeat the slideshow. I'm going to turn that off and quality, let's do high. Play, it will render this and pull it up so that we can watch it. Okay, and that would be our slideshow. So if you wanted to save your template, you could go over here and click this little plus button. I'm just gonna name it JB Slideshow Template. And we'll save it under User Templates, click Create. So now anytime you wanna use the slideshow again, you can just 
click it. And like for instance, if I clicked one of Lightroom's template, it would switch back over. And then if I clicked on mine, it would bring all my settings back. And if you wanted to export this for the web, for your blog, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, and I'm sure you do, then go up to slideshow and you can export this as a PDF, as a bunch of JPEGs, or as a video slideshow, which is what I'm gonna select. Save it to my desktop and just make sure you select 1080p and the ratio 16:9 whenever you're exporting. That's it, that's all you have to do to turn your photos in Lightroom into a slideshow with music. So leave a comment below, tell me what are you shooting these days? And if this was helpful, leave a like on this video. I will see you next time.